Okay, folks, this is Paul, the Air Force Guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center. And boy, I tell you what, if you are in the market for a travel trailer, I highly recommend you come check out these trailers by Grand Design. Now, I'm going to show you this. This is a 2950 RL by Grand Design. Let me show you some things that Grand Design is doing, which is just blowing the market away. As you can see, the storage on this, this is 47 cubic feet of storage. They have sensor lights in here. Right now, they're not on. We see, I'll go ahead and mark it. You see, they do have sensor lights on both ends. Now, of course, the other one on the other side, once I come on that end, it will um, turn on. They give you, you know, a nice little um, explanation of normal operation for the water heater and winterizing. They also, this is a, um, a docking station, so you have your cable there. Your, uh, fuel, your water fill, your battery disconnect. So you can fill your water tank by being here on the fresh water and just changing this. Or you can, if you know, you're not already hooked up, then you have the, you know, the manual style uh, water tank fill. But everything is right here. Also notice that this door, it has a magnet to hold it up. That makes it much easier. Most of the time you're gonna be going in there and you have a handful already. You can see where your sewer dump is. You have a light over here. And so then, like I say, it makes it very easy here. Of course, your water heater's over here, your black tank rinse, which is important. And then, of course, your electric hookup, and you have your uh, furnace. Now, this particular one has two gray tanks. It has one for the bathroom and then one for the kitchen area. So you can have two slides. Your kitchen slide is on this side, and then, of course, you're going to have your, uh, on the door side, you're going to have the dinette and the sofa or your theater seating on the other. You see the molded fiberglass cap on the front with the LED lighting, your two 20-pound tanks, and your power tongue jack. You know, most of the time when you go have to go put storage in, you know, they have those little plastic latches. The nice thing with this, it has the magnet on it. It makes it much nicer for you to put things in here because most of the time you're going to have something in your hand. You're going to have a 110 outlet on both sides in here. Notice that's a flush floor. Most others, it's a you know step up it goes across. That's where they're able to give you much more storage there. Looking down your door side of the camper, you're going to have two awnings here. You have one on the slide out. Notice it is on the slide out. It's not going over top of the slide out. So you're not losing area under the awning outside stereo speakers notice how the door is being held by a magnet as well you don't have that plastic that's going to go ahead and get frail and so forth you've got the nice big crab handle as you're going in so let's go inside and take a look and see what this thing looks like this is one of our best selling models it is the rear living room you have an island kitchen tons of storage in this one so as you come in thing you're going to be you know you have the furnace which is going to be right here Right above my head is there's an, um, a light that's a sensor light if you would like to set it on there. Your controls for your awning, for your slide outs, your interior ceiling lights, your uh, awning lights, the water pump, your uh, gas and electric water heater, which when used properly can give you almost 18 gallons an hour of hot water. Take a look, of course, at your convenience center, checking your levels and so forth. Look at all the counter space you have in here. Notice how the outlets are down on the walls. They're not up above on the cabinet. For those of you who drink coffee, you know where I'm going with that. Um, you've got your standard refrigerator, RV refrigerator. You've got your oven, your three burner cooktop, vent to the outside, microwave, lighting. I mean, look at this sink on this particular one. You know, imagine they do it well. Give you the nice big sink, the pull out uh, faucet, Look at all the drawers you have behind your um, island here. Plus, of course, you've got cabin space there, nice pots and pan. You've got even this drawer down below the refrigerator for those of you that have uh, pets. That way you don't have to worry about carrying the bowls and so forth with you. You just bring those with you and put them out. Nice big drawers on this side. Look at how easy it is to get to your breakers and fuses right out here in the kitchen. And then, of course, you got cabinets up above there. If you want to decorate, you have room to decorate on top. And then let me show you this pantry. This pantry, one really cool thing about it, it also has a sensor light. So as you open it up, the light comes on. 
And then look at how deep and big those shelves are. Gives you a lot of room. And because they do set the shelves back a little bit, you know, you can set a broom in there if you want to have that out of the way. You can see this has, you know, the nice big TV. It has the fireplace down below. It's an electric fireplace, which really does work. The sofa, this works, folds out to a, it's a tri-fold type bed. So you don't have to worry about an air mattress or any of that stuff. Very comfortable. And on either end of this, on the bottom here, you have 110 outlets on either side. And look at your nice place to set a drink. You can lay across that sofa, watch TV. TV does pull out. Look at the windows towards the back. Tons of light. And then, of course, all that cabin space above it. Now, some people might be saying, well, Paul, you know, they're putting this big slide on the door side. You know, why wouldn't they put the kitchen slide over there? Well, you know, that's for years, that's what people did. But let's think about this. These windows, what are you looking at out these windows? You're looking at your camping side, where you're camping. Who wants to be looking at the person camping next to you? So the beauty of this is you don't have to. You can actually look out, you can leave the blinds up during the day. You don't have to worry about other people looking at you. You got the awnings down and so forth. That gives you all that space, all that light coming in here. This one has the freestanding dinette. You can get it with a dinette booth if you wish. Uh, this one also has two of the chairs. You can fold those up and, and get rid of them if you're going to have this as a couple's coach. And then the two fixed chairs, you have storage up underneath there for yourselves. Um, then, of course, you have the theater seatings here and with the three cup holders, which is nice. So it doesn't matter whether you're lefty or righty. But then on the chairs themselves, that could be a heated chair. It has a little light that lights up the cup holder, and it'll also light up in front of the, uh, the chair there itself. And this is the Thomas Paine collection. So it is an upgrade in the furniture, something you don't see too often. So you see the flooring, you know, light flooring, dark cabinets. It just, it just has a great feel and a great look to it. I think most people do agree. I mean, I do get some people that don't like the dark wood. They like to see another color, but they don't offer any other colors. That's the beauty of it. You see, you have your, uh, the, you have the, for the TV antenna. It's a digital antenna. You don't have to worry about um, putting it up or down. You see, you have a pocket door going into the bathroom here and also going into the bedroom. So that way there, when they're open, they're not in your way. But then you do have a bedroom door that you can close, if you wish. So in the bathroom, as you can see, you have, you know, sink area. You've got a nice corner shower and a nice cabinet for you to store things and plenty of room again by your toilet. One thing I always point out, too, is the fact that in the bathroom, you do have an AC duct and you have a heat duct. That is critical to uh, camping in the colder weather or camping in uh, the summertime. So you can see these are the cabinets inside of your the bathroom. So you see you have plenty of room. You can even hang things in here if you wish. So that's the bathroom. So let's go take a look at the bedroom. You see you even have a towel rack in here. Um, you can uh, pick out where you'd like to have the, uh, paper, uh, the toilet paper holder. Again, in the Imagine, only beds they put in here are actual queen mattresses. 60 by 80. It's not the short queen, the RV queen that you see in some, which is 60 by 74. And then look, you have plenty of cabin space around that. This is also wired and framed for a second AC. If you want to, you can put a second AC here in the bedroom. Um, so this is, again, the 2950 RL, imagined by Grand Design. I hope you enjoyed the video. For any questions, please do. If you call, if you email, if you stop by, ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. I thank you for watching, and we'll come back at you again shortly.